Hello everyone, welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a 3D floor plan in Microsoft Word using isometric method. I am going to show you two methods. The first method is isometric grid method and the second method is a direct method. The first method is easy and it lets you draft rough 3D models quickly where measurement is not a concern. Whereas the second method helps you create exact scaled 3D drawings that are close to 90% accuracy. Both methods are isometric methods and they use a scaling method called the map scaling method. If you want to learn what is map scaling and how to create 2D floor plans in Microsoft Word, then check out this video from the link in the description. Okay, now for the first method, download the isometric grid from my website, then change the orientation to landscape. Then set a lighter color and lighter line weight for the grid lines. And then set the units of measure to centimeters. To learn how to create isometric grid, watch this tutorial. Now let us see how to create this 3D window. Before that, I would like to suggest that any 3D model should be created with surfaces and not just plain lines. You might ask the question why surfaces? Faces or filled shapes are required to maintain the opacity. Now if you have a look at these two 3D windows, both look identical but when you place them on the other objects, you could notice that the 3D windows that is created with just the lines is transparent and the other one is opaque. If you use the transparent window, it shows the objects behind that are otherwise needed to be hidden. To create a surface, use the freeform tool and make clicks as shown. Remember that you will need to start and end at the same point. This creates a filled shape or a surface. Now the same technique can be used to create this 3D window. To draw as per the measurement, you will need to correlate the actual measurements with the grid lines. Since the measurement of this window can be expressed in inches, let us assume that every unit on the grid is equals to 1 inch of the actual measurement. Now closely observe and learn how to create 3D models by creating surfaces which are not transparent objects. In order to see the grid lines, you may remove and reapply the fill color as and when required but ultimately the finished 3D model should be color filled and opaque object. Once you are done with creating the 3D model, click and select the grid lines behind and delete it. Then zoom and correct the 3D model. Then finally select all the surfaces and group them together. Using the same method, I have created all of these 3D floor symbols. You can download it on my website. Similarly, I have created this 3D floor plan with a larger grid. Let me show you how I did it. If you have gone wrong, you can always press the backspace to step back and continue the process again.
You might have to change the order of the objects as and when required. Once you have drafted everything, zoom and correct the mistakes. Well, that was the first method. Now let me show you the second method which helps you create 3D models nearly 90% accurate. Before we start, let us have a look at the default measurements that shall be used throughout this drawing. Please remember that I shall be adopting a scaling technique called map scaling that I have already spoken about. You may refer my previous 2D floor plan video to learn more about it. 3D floor plans require wider working space so let us set up the uh, paper size to the maximum measurement let us go to the layout click on the page setup then go to the paper tab and type 55 centimeter this is the maximum measurement allowed in Microsoft Word just click on the OK button if some error pops up just click on the fix button and click on the OK button. So once after plotting the pl plotting your drawing, you may resize or scale the drawing to any measurement later. And then you may also um, resize the drawing to fit inside a A3 or a A4 size paper. This is the measurement of the 3D floor plan. In the direct method, we are not going to use the grid. Instead, we shall be drawing the reference lines directly with the scaled measurements and plot them in 30 degree angles. Then we shall be aligning the lines by meeting their endpoints together. For an example, if you want to create a 30 feet line, then we shall be creating a line for 30 cm and rotate it in 30 degree increments to create an isometric model. Now closely observe and learn the drawing skills. There are certain other procedures that will be explained later in this tutorial. You may hold down the shift key to draw straight lines. You may zoom if required and you may use the arrow keys to move the selected objects. You can copy the lines that have same measurement and place them perpendicularly as per the requirement. Also you can use them as references.
Once after creating the reference lines, you will need to create surfaces on top of these reference lines by tracing on it. Once after creating all the surfaces, you will need to select and move all the surfaces and delete the reference lines underneath. Then later you will need to group all the surfaces together to form a single 3D component. Once after creating the walls, you will need to place the doors, windows and 3D floor plan symbols. Then later, you might have to change the order of the objects and mask certain areas with surfaces to hide the portions that are ought to be hidden.
Well, dear friends, this was no easy job as Microsoft Word is not a 3D software. I took up the challenge and finally created a 3D floor plan in a 2D software besides a lot of limitations. To create bigger and more sophisticated 3D floor plans, please consider using software applications such as AutoCAD, SketchUp, Sweet Home 3D, 3ds Max, Blender and other 3D software. I shall be creating tutorials on these subjects in my next videos. I hope that this tutorial will be memorable and remarkable in your minds. I shall see you all in my next 3D floor plan tutorial. Until then, it's bye from hbninfotech.com.